good. Now let us discuss uh, the important operators in Python guys. We are going to learn the operators, very important operators, some logical points in the operators. Okay. Yeah. So these operators are you are very familiar, but uh, I will discuss in a different First uh, important operators is arithmetic operators. First one, arithmetic operators. Let us discuss arithmetic operators, guys. Arithmetic operators. Is arithmetic operators, right? So, what are the different uh, what are the arithmetic operators that are available in Python language? Yes. So, in Python language, so you have different arithmetic operators available. So, what are the arithmetic operators available in Python language, guys? Let me write it. So first, uh, plus, you know, what is this operator? I no need to explain, right? What is this operation, guys? Addition operation. Addition, right? Next, this one. What is this operator? Subtraction. Subtraction operation, right? Subtraction operation. Next, the asterisk symbol. This operator is for multiplication. Multiplication, right? Next, next operator is division operation, right? But here in Python, you have two types of division operators, guys. I explain these things, okay? Division operator, division operation, guys, right? Next, double slash. Okay, this is called truncating division operator, guys. This is called truncating division operator. Truncating division operator. Next one is modulo. Modulo operator. Right? Modulus. Modulus operator. Then there is one more operator. Double asterisk. So this is known as exponentiation operator guys exponentiation operator right so these are the arithmetic operators in python language guys understood these are the arithmetic operators in python language so now you see a plus operator uh, to add, it is called addition operator guys right so minus operator subtraction Asterisk symbol for multiplication, single division operator, double division operator. Here you have two types of divisions, right? So, single division operator, double division operator, guys. So, here single division operator, double division operator is also known as truncating division operation, right? Next, percentage symbol. This is modulus operator, double asterisk symbol. This is called exponentiation operator. Okay. Right. Now, uh, you know, plus is for addition, minus is for subtraction, multiplication. Right. These are all you are familiar. This is a very basic mathematical operator. These are all uh, mathematical operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Right. Now, let us discuss these two operators. Yes. What is the difference between division and truncated division? as well as uh, what is this uh, double uh, star operator, right? So remaining all, uh, you know, very well, okay? You can try, guys. Open this Python, IDLE. Open the IDLE of Python. Yeah. 
now just you try that use the operators guys okay for example you can see uh, three plus five okay here what is the operator plus is an operator is it binary or unary operator here it is a binary operator because you have two operands you see first operand is three second operand is five okay operand can be a particular uh, uh, value or it may be some expression also right that's why it is a binary operator just enter what is the value eight what type of expression it is arithmetic expression right this is what arithmetic expressions x okay so otherwise you can write like this uh, you can define some variables x is equal to 5 right y equal to uh, 3 now you can find out what is the value of x plus y what is the value of x minus y right x into y x into y right x by y x by y x double division y next x modulo y right x star star y uh, just uh, let us uh, understand this what are these okay see here x is 5 y is 3 right x is equal to 5 y equal to 3 days now x plus y add these two values this is addition operation right 5 plus 3 which is 8 clear x minus y subtract y from x so 5 minus 3 what is the value 2 right x into y x, it is a multiplication operator operator multiply 5 into 3 which is 15 x division y x double division y x modulo y what is this modular operation guys it will give you the remainder right so for example 5 by 3 what is the value 3 ones are uh, 3 the remainder is 2 right the very simple basic uh, uh, mathematics guys this is so like that you can check these values now i am going to explain these two guys very important single division double division what is the difference as well as exponentiation yeah I, I'm going to explain this one over. I, I that's why I, I take the example and I will explain what is this truncating, right? Now let us see what is the difference between single division and double division operators. Guys, it's very important. Okay, division operators in Python. Let me write it. Division operators in Python. Division operators in Python, guys. How many division operators are there in Python? Two, two division operators. Guys. One is the single division, second one double division. Always remember, single division operator is a floating point division operator, guys. Right? Floating point division. So the operands, whatever uh, may be the type of the operands, always it returns a float result. Okay, the result is float value, right? Single division operator, it is a floating point division operation, guys. Understand? It is a floating point division operation. So, for example, let us say 7 by 5, 7 by 5, right? What is this value? 7 by 5 value is 1.4, right? 1.4, guys. So you see, these uh, both the operands are uh, integers, actually. Both operands are integers, right? Still, you are getting, still you are getting float value. Understand? So, irrespective of the type of these operands, right? Always it returns the float value. That is single division operator, guys. Right? Here you can see both the operands they are integers, but it returns float value. You are getting the exact value. Am I right? You are getting the exact value. Okay. 10 by 5, not 0. 10 by 5 is 2. 2.0. Here it returns only float value, guys. 
what I want to say here. Let me make it more clear, I think. Uh, you can see, guys, uh, 7 division 5. What is the value? 1.4, right? Always it returns float value. You are saying 10 by 5, 2.0. Understood? 10 by 5, both are integers. But it returns the result float, right? It returns always the result the float value. Okay. It is exact value. Am I right? Mm -hmm. It is the exact value. Got it? Actually, 5, 2s are 10, but returns 2.0. Because always the result is a float. That is what single division operation. Understood? Here you can see uh, it's, uh, 7 by 5 is 1.4. You are getting exact value, right? Exact division value. Okay. Yes. But here both are integers only. So it is uh, 5 divides 10, right? The value is 2. But here it returns 2.0 because always it returns the float value, guys. Exact division value. I can say exact division. Okay. And it is a float value, right? That is single division operation, guys. I think you are clear now. Okay. Now, 7 by 5.0. Again, you will get the same answer. Okay. Because whatever may be the operands, both are integers or both are float, whatever it may be, always it returns the float value, guys. And it is an exact value. Here also, you will get 1.4 only. Okay. Or else, let us say 7.0 by 5, 5. This is also 1.4. 1.4 is the result. Sorry, this is 1.4. Right? Again, 7.0 by 5.0. 7.0 divided by 5.0. Again, this value will be 1.4. Any doubt in this single division operation? Single division operation is called floating point division operation. A single division, it gives you exact uh, value. Okay exact division value so whatever may be the operands irrespective of the type of the operands always it returns the float value guys and it is exact value understood so you can see here both are integers these two are these two operands are integers you are getting 1.4 this is the exact value of this division right here denominator it is a float value numerator is integer value still you are getting 1.4 here 7.0 by 5 here uh, numerator is float Denominator is integer, still the result 1.4. And both numerator and denominator, both are float values. You are getting 1.4. Uh, what is the conclusion for the single division operation? Guys? Single division operation, it always returns a exact uh, value. Okay. And it is a float value, irrespective of the type of the new operands. Here, what are the operands? Numerator and the denominator are the operands, guys. Right. So division uh, by zero, is it valid, guys? No, right? You will get some exception here. You can see. Somebody has typed the question. I will see. So division by zero, is it allowed? In any programming language, it is not allowed, right? Because it is illegal. It is illegal, guys. You will get some exception, right? See here. What is that? Float division by zero. You are getting this is called exception, guys. OK. What is this? Zero division error. These are called the exceptions. Okay. So because division by zero, it is not allowed. Uh, right. These are called exceptions. Why exceptions? Uh, they, uh, because of wrong input values uh, from the user, these errors arise. Right. These are called exceptions, guys. You cannot divide by zero. Otherwise, if you wish, you give zero by zero. What is the value, guys? Again, you are getting division by zero. You do the experiments. I will do minus zero by zero. What happens? Right. Now, your task is what you need to do is sign. Okay. Sign means, for example, minus seven by five. What is this value? You can check. You are getting minus 1.4. For example, seven by minus five. What is this value? You will get negative value or positive value. You can see negative value, no doubt. Okay. So, for example, I said modulo operator, right? Modulo operator, can we apply for float or not? You check it. 7.0 by uh, 5.0. Can I apply it or not? Okay. 
yes you are uh, oh sorry i think modulo operator right 7.0 modulo 5.0 what is the value what is the value guys it is saying invalid division division by zero showing sorry i think 7.0 right 7.0 modulo 7.0 modulo 5.0 guys what is this value both are float right 2.0 that means modulo operator you can apply an integer as well as float values guys right and the answer is this one 2.0 right again this is a reminder only you should try it guys you should try if uh, the operands are integer what what is the result operands are float what is the result one one operand integer one operand float what is the value if i use a uh, minus value or if, if uh, numerator is negative what is the result denominator is negative what is the result from that you can draw some conclusions right that is your activity right that is your self learning activity i told you right in every session i teach some concepts you have to do some self learning activity this then only you can learn if you do it already you installed right this division operation is clear i hope irrespective of the type of these operands always it returns the float value okay and it is an exact division of division value exact value right this is about single division what about double division guys double division for double division operation for example 7 double slash 5 guys so always remember this double division operation it returns the truncated value guys truncated value okay what is truncated value can anybody closest integer closest integer that is less than or equal to the value understood what is the uh, definition of this one float float division it is called let me write near point let me write the exact definition guys what is this floor value it returns the floor value guys okay double division operator this is called floor division floor division guys so what is this floor division closest integer closest integer that is less than closest integer that is less than or equal to the expression r value i think uh, you know why i am using the expression r value okay yesterday i think we discussed in detail right expression r value guys this is the definition of closest integer that is less than or equal to the value guys that is called float division right now understand in case of the double division operation truncated division operation what happens very simple if both the operands are integers right it returns an integer value guys both the operands are integers it returns integer value okay that is called integer division guys this is called integer division right as well as it will uh, uh, return uh, it returns the floor value only right so for example 7 by 5 what is this value integer division right integer division that means you are dividing 5 and here 7 what is this value 5 ones are 5 right 5 ones are 5 okay what is the remainder guys not evenly dividing this one right 7 by 5 what is this value Two. right okay now tell me what is quotient what is the remainder guys understand uh, here 2 is the remainder one is the quotient guys right to get the value to use modulo operator this is the remainder guys this is the quotient to get the quotient use double division operator understand 7 by 5 both the operands are integers that's why it returns what integer value understand integer value guys one understand what is the floor value of an integer guys integer itself that's it floor value of any integer is the value itself 
okay because what is the closest integer which is less than or equal to one guys one itself all of you are getting okay yeah if it is a float what happens i will tell you no worry first understand so a single division operation irrespective of the type of the operands always it returns a float that is called floating point division right so we get exact value but in case of double division operator so if both the operands of integers it returns integer value guys okay floor value if in case uh, if any operand one of the operand is float it returns float value but it is a truncated value or floor value what do i mean by that just let me explain the same example i will take seven double division seven double division 5.0 now what is the answer guys can you guess what is the answer understand if one of the operand is float right it returns always float guys in division operation uh, uh, in double division operation if one of the operand is float right it returns float value but that is a truncated value yes yeah i will tell you what is this value actually 7 by 5.0 what is this value 7 by 5.0 it is 1.4 right 1.4 is the actual value okay but what is the floor value of 1.4 guys can anybody guess i told you that this is truncated division right actually if one of the operand is float it should return float value right but it will not return 1.4 because this is a double division operator right actually what is the value of 7 by 5.0 guys that is 1.4 but here you can see this is a double division operator right that's why it will not return the exact value exact division value it returns the floor value of this particular 1.4 understand what is the floor value of 1.4 guys can you guess what is the closest integer which is less than or equal to 1.4 obviously what is this value guys one only are you getting what is this value one but understand guys if at least one of the operand is float always the division should return float that is one basic rule understand that means 1.4 is the actual division value and its truncated value is one what is the float form of one guys float form of one 1.0 this is the result guys any doubt in this 1.7 floor value not floor value guys that is ceiling value seal value is two floor value is one understand okay got it so always remember in a single division operation irrespective of the type of the operands always result is a float value and it is exact value guys in case of double division operation what happens if both the operands are integer it returns integer value guys integer division value in case of uh, one of the operand is float right it returns the truncated value of the actual result that's it any doubt in this okay if it is 2.8 it takes two only because what is the closest integer less than or equal to 2.8 guys greater than or equal to that value that will be the ceiling value not floor value ceiling and floor okay if it is 1.7 it takes one only because what is the closest integer which is less than or equal to 1.7 one only understood don't get confusion it is floor value ceiling if i take ceiling value the gray, uh, the gray, uh, then uh, the closest integer which is greater than or equal to that value that is ceiling value right okay yeah check it i hope you are clear guys 7 by 5.0 here what one of friend is a float value that's why result should be float but actual uh, result is 1.4 but you take that floor value floor value will be one but always uh, remember if at least one of the operand is float the result should be float right that's why it uh, returns the float value of this truncated value understand float floating point form of the truncated value it returns guys that is the meaning any doubt in this why you get 1.0 now if you wish just you check it guys you check ideally it's very important don't get confusion now you check guys 7 7 double division 5.0 what is this value 1.0 got it 1.0 right yes any questions if it is 1.7 you get 1.0 if 
because the floor value of 1.7 is 1. Its floating point format is 1.0. That's it. Okay. Floor means flow just integer less than or equal to that value, guys. That is floor value. Understood? Uh, now let us see 7 double slash 5. What is the value? You will get 1 because both operands are integers, right? Both arguments are integers, then it becomes integer division value. That's why you're getting one. I hope you're clear now. Single division and double division difference. In, in case of single division, what you're getting, you can see 1.4, right? Irrespective of the type of the operands, always returns it is a float value. This is exact value, right? In case of double division operation, if both the operands are integers, it returns integer value, right? This is called integer division base. Okay, if at least one operand is float, it returns the uh, floor value of the actual result in floating point form. Understand? Any questions? That's why what is this value, guys? I can write. From here, what is the conclusion? I can write. That, um, after that, it is calculating floor value of 1.4 floor of 1.4 right floor of 1.4 value is equal to what one right for this what is the floating point form i hope now you are clear right what is this value seven double division 5.0 at least one of the operand is float result should be float but it, it, it takes the floor value of 1.4, which is 1. But uh, floating point form of this result, it should return floating point form of this particular result, guys. Because one of friend is float, right? That's why. What is the floating point form of 1, guys? 1.0. This is the result. Any doubt? Right? I hope you are all clear. Uh, same. Likewise, you can take uh, uh, 7.0 divided double division 5, guys. Which is equal to again, you will get what 1.0, no doubt, right? Or else you can say 7.0 double division 5.0, right? Which is equal to 1.0. Any more questions? Also, it will take, yeah, also it will take one only. What is the closest integer less than or equal to this one, guys? Closest integer less than or equal to 1.999. That is one only, right? Say you can check. I think silly flora. Got it? There is a function called floor function in math module. You call it 1.999. What is its floor value? One only, right? Because what is the closest integer less than or equal to 1.999? That is one. Got it? Yeah. Floor function is there, guys. But you need to import math module. Understood? Not only positive numbers, guys. You can give negative numbers also. Right? Math dot floor of. I will give negative math numbers, guys. Minus of 1.999. What is this value, guys? What is the closest integer which is less than or equal to minus 1.99, guys? It will be minus 2 only, right? Less than or equal to, I am saying. What is the value, closest integer, which is less than or equal to minus 1, which is equal to minus 2 only? Understood the difference? Positive or negative? Yeah, somebody has answered. Got it? Not only positive numbers, guys, negative also. That's why I told you, you do the experiment. Okay. So take negative numerator, positive denominator, negative denominator, positive numerator, both are negative. Okay. One is in, second one is float. This is your self learning activity, guys. Okay. Yeah. Whatever may be the division operation, always if, you, if it is zero, then you will get error, exception, no doubt. Because division by zero, it's not defined in maths, right? Whether it is a single division or double division, if you divide by zero, you will get an error only. Exception. These things you should try, guys. Okay. Those you need to do self-learning. 
Ya. Fifty percent above will add one. No, that will not add one. Closest integers, it will find out. Okay. Yes, remember this. Uh, uh, Definition, guys. What is floor? Closest integer that is less than or equal to the expression or the value. That's it. Okay. Actually, there is a mathematical uh, formula to evaluate this one, guys. That is uh, uh, no need to you remember, guys. This is a simple definition, right? There is a mathematical uh, uh, formula for this calculating that one. One point nine nine it takes two, but it should have taken one. Why? Floor or floor takes only one, right? Not two. I think it. I have given minus one point nine nine. You see this? Minus one point nine nine, right? What is the closest here? Minus value. What is the closest integer which is less than uh, or equal to minus one, guys? Which is minus two, right? This is negative. Please observe this one carefully. It is negative, right? Not positive. Negative means from right to left. In the number line, right to left. What is the closest integer which is less than or equal to minus one point nine nine nine? Will be minus two only, right? This is all basic math. Okay, yeah. So yesterday, uh, Ashok sir uploaded the material. Uh, are you getting that material downloaded? In that, I have provided uh, assignment problems as well as uh, data science uh, um, uh, related material. As well as the session material, everything I have provided, right? Check it. Uh, that is very very uh, valuable material, guys. Please refer. Programming language uh, background and all I have explained that. That is called zero zero session. Okay. I hope now you are clear, guys. Single division and double division operators. No doubt. Yeah. This is the actual uh, how the operator it is working, guys. These type of logical things you should learn. Okay, not simple examples. Two plus three, two minus three. Okay. That you do the self learning. Okay, but this you remember, guys. Always single division operator. It returns float value, irrespective of the type of the operands. It gives exact value. Okay. Yeah. Next, in case of double division, if both the operands are integers, it returns integer. Okay, it is an integer division. If at least one of the operand is float, it returns uh, float value, but it is a truncated value. That's floor value. That's it. Okay, this is about the division operator space, right? Next, what is the next uh, uh, some special operator in Python, guys? It's a double star. Double star operator is called as exponentiation operator, guys. Okay, exponentiation operator. What is this ex exponentiation, guys? So here, this exponentiation operator is called as the power operator, right? So what it does? So x to the power of y, base and exponent, right? Exponent operator, how it works? This double star operator, double star operator. This is called exponentiation operator. This is double star, right? So here you can. Uh, uh, find out x to the power of y, right? X is called the base, y is called the exponent, guys. Understand? Base and exponent. So let us suppose, let me write 2 star star 4, 2 double star 4, right? What is this value, guys? Here, understand, double star represents uh, this uh, operator, exponentiation operator, guys. Uh, this value is 2 to the power of 4. 
2 is the base, 4 is the exponent, right? 2 power 4, multiply 2 for 4 times. What is its value, guys? 16. Excellent. Now, can I take the float values for base and exponent? Is it allowed or not? Yes. Yeah, it is allowed, guys. Base and exponent, they can be integers as well as float values, guys. Understood? For example, 2.5, star, star, double star, 4.5. This is a valid expression, guys. Understand? These are, they, they can be integers as well as they can be float values, right? 2.5 power 4.5, what is this value? So 61.7652, 61.7652 something, right? Something you get it, okay? So this is called exponentiation operator, guys. Okay, good. Yeah, so I hope you are clear all the automatic operators we have discussed and here the logical points you should how to calculate okay this floating point uh, powers uh, who we cannot calculate directly okay so you can use the calculator or some log tables generally for this type of calculations we use the log tables right a power b how do you calculate log guys b log a right simple these type of calculations we cannot do right these are not whole numbers but this you can use log values got it no need to worry yes that's about arithmetic operators guys these are the logical points you should remember now i will discuss one more important concept guys that is operator precedence and associativity okay uh, that is also important. Precedence table, you can get it. What formula? You calculate uh, log, log value. Log value, how to calculate this log value? x to the power of y. If you want to calculate this value, right? Using log. Apply the log. Then you will get what is this value? y into log of x this is the value already you have log tables available you calculate log x value multiply with y you will get this value y log x x power y is y log x no need to worry that calculation uh, nobody will ask for python developer okay just i am telling you the mathematical behind mathematics behind that clear guys you can use Napier tables, right? Napier tables as well as log tables. You can calculate this one, guys. Otherwise, you can use the uh, uh, Sterling's formula, estimators, right? Oh, no, we should not go in depth into mathematics, guys. Python class, right? You can Google it. You do self learning, guys. I know some of only these three methods. Maybe there, there are many other methods also there. You can see. Fibonacci series. No, no, it's not Fibonacci series. That is different, guys. It's not a Fibonacci sequence. Yes. Now, this is about, uh, now we will see what is the operator precedence. Precedence and associativity, right? What is this precedence case? For example, you have a uh, uh, in an expression, you uh, exp an expression may contain. Uh, in an expression, we may have more than one operator, right? In which order the expression should be evaluated? That is decided by precedence case. Understand? For example, two plus three into five. Is it an expression or not? First, tell me. No doubt, this is an automatic expression, right? So here you can see there are two operators. One is plus operator. Second one is multiplication operator, right? Then now tell me. Which one it should evaluate first? Yeah, bot mass. Good. So here you can see plus is an operator, star is an operator, right? So among these two, which operator should be evaluated first? That is uh, decided by this precedency rules. Understand? In an expression, if you have more than one operator, then in which order the expression should be evaluated, guys? That is decided by operator precedence, right? Now, uh, in operator precedence, this multiplication has 
highest priority compared to plus operator. Okay, so high priority. The precedence is uh, more. Okay, between plus and plus operator and multiplication and addition operators. Plus and the star, which has a high, uh, higher precedence, star operator. Understand? That's why first this this operator should be evaluated. This understand? That means first three into five. This should be evaluated. Understand? This is called as a sub expression. Understand, guys? This is part of some other expression, right? This is called a sub expression. Understand? For this plus operator, this sub expression is one operand, two is another operand, right? Okay. That's why this is same as this is same as two plus to represent the precedence. I can use the brackets. Around this also, right? First, this should be evaluated, guys. Right? This should be evaluated. Okay. Three plus five, uh, three into five. This this should be evaluated first. Okay. This should be evaluated, guys. After that, add that value to two. That means this should be evaluated, guys. This is called operator precedence or priority. Understood? Okay. Yeah, Bodmas rule. Yes, correct. First, three into five. 15 that it, that is added to 2 2 is added to 15 or 15 is added to 2 guys now tell me please. whether yeah understand which is added either 2 is added or 15 is added to 2. again this is one more doubt okay yeah understand guys uh, 3 into 5 is 15 right you are getting this sub expression value now you have only two operands 2 and 15 add them plus 15 which is equal to 17 right now 2 is added to 15 or 15 is added to 2 right so 2 is added to 15 guys understand left to right only that is called associativity i will discuss that now uh, priority operates presidents is it okay any doubt yes for example i will uh, just use I hope you are clear. What is the precedence of operator? So we have arithmetic operators, bitwise operators. Like that, there are different types of operators. You can check the precedence table, guys. Google it. Operator precedence in Python table. Okay. Then you will you will get it. So from top to down priority it decreases. Understand? So this is the operator precedence, guys. It will evaluate the expressions like this. Understood? This is operator precedence rules. Next, uh, associativity, guys. Associativity, right? In an expression, uh, if you have uh, uh, more than one operator with same precedence, right? Then how the expression is evaluated, guys? In which order that is evaluated? Very simple. For example, two plus three, okay, minus. 5, 2 plus 3 minus 5. This is the expression, guys. Now tell me, for example, uh, this is very simple, but I will do one thing. 2 minus 3 minus 5. Now tell me what is this value of the expression. I am not using any parentheses or something, guys. What should be the value, guys? How can you evaluate this value? Huh? Yes. Minus 6. Is it? Or else any other answer? 4 or minus 6? Left to right. Yeah. Left to right. Left to right. Okay. Good. Minus 6 only. Correct. Why? Because you see, here is minus, here is also minus. So here more than one operator, they have the same precedence. Right? Then associativity comes into the picture, guys. Understand? If uh, a, an expression, in an expression, if you have more than one operator with the same priority, right? So not only same operator, guys, same priority operator. For example, plus and minus, they have same same priority, guys. For example, 3 plus 2 minus 5, right? Plus operator, minus operator, they are at the same level of precedence, right? Then also, we that uh, uh, uses the associativity rule. Understand? Okay. Plus and minus, they have the same level of precedence. Okay. That's why it uses associativity rule. 
here same operator minus and minus so it uses associativity rule i hope you are clear what is this associativity in which uh, direction it should evaluate this understand either from left to right or right to left that is decided by this associativity so understand here uh, plus operator minus operator they are left to right associated understand so not affecting to our result why it will definitely affect case if we calculate from right to left now then the result is different we check it okay here in this particular expression if we evaluate from left to right right to left the result will be different that's why i have taken the example understood any doubt Three minus five is what? Three minus five is minus two, right? Two minus of minus two is plus two. Two plus two is four is the answer. Two plus three plus five, yeah, that will be zero, right? Two minus three minus five. Oh, what guys? You are getting confused with the basic math. Okay. This is the expression, right? You are getting what? Minus six. Good. But. Uh, if I want to give more priority to this one, three minus five. If three minus five is first evaluated, what will be the value, right? If you want to give some priority, okay. What is this value? Four. That's what I said. Understood? Got it, guys. See this. If it is left to right associative, then first this one will be evaluated. Two minus three. Right, that is minus one, and minus one minus five is minus six. That is left to right associative. If it is right to left associative, what is the result, guys? From right to left, you should evaluate three minus five minus two, two minus minus two. That is plus four. Result, uh, there is a difference or not? Okay, that's why associativity is very important. Whether you are evaluating from left to right or right to left. Okay, so all these operators are left to right, or any operator from right to left, guys. It is also important. Okay, I will give the example. No issue. You see here, two minus three minus five. How it is evaluating, guys? First, two minus three is evaluated, right? And from that, five is subtracted, guys. It is left to right associative. Left to right associativity. Okay, what is this associativity, guys? Left to right, guys. Understood? This is. Left to right associativity. Associativity from left to right. Any operator from right to left, guys? Any idea? Here also left to right, right? This is also from left to right. Again, same thing. First to two plus three. This is evaluated. From this, five is subtracted. Again, this is left to right associated. Good. Any doubt? If operator precedence is same, then it 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 uses the associativity. Associativity comes into the picture when only the operators they have the same precedence. Okay. So the operators with the uh, precedence is not uh, same, then it uses this priority rule, operator precedence rule. Understand? Okay, good. So this is left to right associate. Any questions? Yeah. Now I will give one more uh, uh, example. You answer this case. Two star star three star star five. Three star star. Two star star uh, what is this value guys two star double star two double star three what is its value 40 256 64 excellent uh, any other answer two fifty five twelve okay Excellent. Different answers. That is good. Now tell me, guys, what is this? Yeah. 
ఓకే ఫాలో ఓకే ఎక్సలెంట్ ఆన్సర్ యా నౌ సీ గైస్ ఎర్ ఈజ్ అన్ ఆపరేటర్ రైట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఎ వ్యాలిడ్ ఆపరేటర్ విచ్ ఈజ్ ఎక్స్పోనెన్షియేషన్ ఆపరేటర్ సో నౌ యూ హ్యావ్ మోర్ దాన్ వన్ ఆపరేటర్ అండ్ సేమ్ ప్రెసిడెన్స్ రైట్ బికాస్ ద ఆపరేటర్ ఇస్ సేమ్ ఆబ్వియస్లీ ప్రెసిడెన్సీ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో సేమ్ నో డౌట్ నో అసోసియేటివిటీ కమ్స్ ఇన్ టు ద పిక్చర్ రైట్ అసోసియేటివిటీ కమ్స్ ఇన్ టు పిక్చర్ సార్ నో టెల్ మీ యూ చార్డర్ దిస్ విల్ బి వెల్యూటెడ్ గైస్ యూ చార్డర్ ఇట్ విల్ బి వెల్యూటెడ్ వెదర్ ఫస్ట్ టూ పవర్ టూ దట్ ఈస్ ఎవల్యూటెడ్ ఆర్ టూ పవర్ త్రీ ఈజ్ ఎవల్యూటెడ్ ఓకే yes understand it is right to left guys understand exponentiation operator the associativity is right to left guys understand that means how it will be evaluated guys how it will be evaluated right to left that means two double star two double star three right first which one will be evaluated guys this two double star three this one will be evaluated first right to left right right to left that means first to start from right Ex- uh, evaluate this sub expression then evaluate this total expression understood yes now what is 2 power 3 2 power 3 2 power 3 is 8 right 2 cube 2 power 3 means 2 cube right 2 star star what is its value of 2 power 3 8 understood what is 2 power 8 2 power 8 means 16 into 16 what is this value 256 this is the answer guys yeah not left to right yes that's what i am saying it's not left to right guys this is right to left almost all uh, uh, yeah most of the operators they are uh, left associative guys but this uh, double star operator this is right associative guys i write i am going to explain this one what is this uh, associativity right to left okay any questions any doubts associativity and precedence i hope you are clear this is called associativity rule guys exponentiation operator is right to left associative good okay uh, you can check guys uh, i think division operator division operator is also like that we check it from right to left okay for example 8 divided by 4 divided by 2 is it valid or invalid first tell me guys huh? yeah double slash that is also operator right now is it left to right or right to left guys that's i want to know whether first 4 by 2 is calculated or 8 by 4 is calculated which one is correct that's what i am saying now you do that this is the self learning activity what i am saying right you have to do that type of experiments guys then you will get very good idea okay now just i will type it we will check 8 double slash 4 double slash 2 i think 4 by 2 is 2 2 by 8 by 2 is 4 no 8 by 4 is what 2 2 by 2 is 1 that means it is also left to right good answer is 4 no right you see here already i opened python interpreter 8 double slash 4 double slash 2 guys first 8 by 4 is evaluated because 8 by 4 is 2 again 2 by 2 is evaluated which is 1 in case of right to left what happens 4 by 2 which is 2 8 by 2 which is equal to 4 understand answer is not 4 guys answer is 1 that means it is also left to right associated with okay good how it is evaluating guys that's what i'm saying you do that one 8 first it is calculating 8 double slash 4 okay on this particular result again it is calculating double slash 2 guys is it left to right or right to left this is left to right associativity left to 
right associated with it. Got it? Any doubt? But in case, now what is this value? 8 by 4, which is equal to 2, because it returns integer only, integer division. Okay, 2 double slash 2, which is equal to what? 1, integer division again returns 1. What is this? Left to right is the associated with any questions? Got it? Yeah. That's about operator precedence, operator precedence and associativity. Yeah. Automatic operators. Uh, what is the difference between single division and double division? And as well as exponentiation operator, right? What is integer division, floating point division, right? What is the floor value? These are all logical points. There's important logical points in the operator's concepts. Got it? So that's all for today's session. Tomorrow we will uh, uh, just discuss another type of operator space. Okay? Another type of operators. So we, we, we learn all the logical uh, things. Okay? Logical points for every operator in that. So automatic operators are very, very important. So generally, we use these automatic operators in our uh, program. The next important is uh, relational uh, operators case. Tomorrow, we discuss the relational operators concept. Okay. I'm going to cover a very important uh, concept case.